Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, teacher, thanks. Nice. We're going to wait just a few minutes just for the rest of the people to come. Okay. Good. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Okay, as usual, we're going to check about the class. This is the class of tonight. And for tonight, we don't have any homework assigned. Okay, so that would be it. I was checking that there was no announcement, right, for, for the classes. Let me just check here. Is it just figuring you thought five minutes was a long time to wait for a bus? I would also like to see the tape issue they used to get this figure. Let's look at the slightly easier journey for Voyager. The age of the Milky Way. <laughs> oh, my, sorry. The practices. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Good. The practices, that's nice. <laughs> it's yes. too fast. It's too fast. I'm just reading this one. I, I was trying to, I'm sorry. I thought it was in mute. That okay. that happened with the real presenter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is like a blooper, right? So Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm trying are... to find out another one for a different level because this is for super duper <laughs> faster to read. Very good. But that's good. I'm very happy that you're practicing. Nice. <laughs> she is the first teacher. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I was checking here, and yeah, there is not uh, like a, let me see, uh, like an announcement for the next week. As I understand, it is we are not going to have classes, but we need to wait for them to send something. Okay, uh, most likely it's not going to happen. But if we have classes, of course, I'm ready. <laughs> no. Please no. <laughs> My friend went to rest. <laughs> to rest. <laughs> Enough yeah, yeah. of you is because I think our brain is asking to rest. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's it's kind of their mind, right? Because, mm. uh, I mean, when I mean when there are holidays. Even when it's a regular day of work, sometimes your mind is like, "Oh my goodness, mm. this is a holiday, and I need to do something different or something like that." So. That happens, that happens. 
Okay, so let's check about uh, the attendance. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay, perfect. Let's start with a little video. Okay, uh, always, I mean, if you see this, we have, we've been like practicing or checking some things on how to improve English. So this is going to be another thing like that one. So let's see how it goes. As usual, once we finish the video, you tell me what did you learn? What is, what was interesting for you? If you have comments or anything like that. So let's see how it goes. Hey, I'm Vanessa from speakenglishwithvanessa.com. Huh? What'd you say? Let's talk about it. Have you ever been watching your favorite movie or TV show and decided to turn it to English and then, oh my goodness, it's so fast. How in the world are they talking so fast? I can't understand this. Well, don't worry, you are not alone. Many English learners have had that same sensation of, oh, it's so fast, I will never understand this. Well, I have some good news. In today's lesson, you are going to learn five secrets to understanding fast English, improving your listening skills, and understanding movies and TV shows. To help you master today's lesson, I have created a free PDF worksheet just for you, my beloved students, <laughs> so that you can download this worksheet, study these five secrets, check out all of the tips and ideas that are mentioned in today's lesson, and at the end of the PDF, make sure to answer Vanessa's challenge question so that you can use what you have learned in this lesson. Don't forget to click on the link below this video to download the free PDF worksheet. All right, let's get started with the first secret. Problem number one, don't watch a movie or TV show that you are unfamiliar with or you only understand 10%. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Instead, apply secret number one. Watch a movie or TV show that you already know in your native language. You are already familiar with the story, the characters, possibly even some of the words. If you need to use English subtitles, go ahead, but this is a great way to let go of fear, to let go of the frustration. I can't understand. It's just, I only understand every couple words and it's just too much. No, watch something that you already know in your native language. Have you seen Disney's Frozen in your native language? Great, watch it in English. Have you seen Forrest Gump in your native language? Excellent, watch it in English. This is a great way to feel more confident and to improve your listening skills to understand fast English. Problem number two, don't study how individual words are pronounced. Instead, follow secret number two, which will help you to overcome this problem, and that is study some common linking expressions in English. For example, if you ask me, Vanessa, where are you going? And I say, I'm gonna go to the mountains. Hmm? <laughs> okay, maybe you understood a couple parts of this, but do you really understand the linking that is happening so that when other people say this, who are not your English teacher, you can get it. Let's break down this sentence. I'm gonna go to the mountains. I'm gonna 
Well, I'm really saying I am going to. First, I'm using a contraction. I am becomes I'm. And then I'm pushing together or linking together going to, which often becomes gonna. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna study English. But we can reduce it even further and cut off the G and say I'm gonna, which is what I said earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If you're listening for I am going to, you will not get this. But if you understand some common linking principles in English, contractions, going to becomes gonna or becomes una, your ears will be more aware of it. Let's go to the last part of that sentence. I'm gonna go to the mountains. Go to the mountains. Go da. The word to becomes da. This is very common after the verb go. Go to the mountains. I'm gonna go to school tomorrow. Go to school. I gotta go to the office. Go to the office. Excellent. What's happening with that last word? Mountains. Mountains. <laughs> well, often if there is a T plus in sound at the end of a word, we drop the T and kind of swallow that sound. Listen to these other words that are very similar. Button becomes button. Button. Threaten becomes threaten threaten and mountain becomes mountain mountain now you can say this word clearly and say I'm I'm gonna go to the mountains mountains it's okay but you're gonna hear people say you're gonna I just use that reduction you're gonna hear people say mountains and you need to be able to understand it we are all focusing on improving your listening skills for comprehension so that you can understand how people are speaking in daily conversations so with this one very simple sentence you learned some key phrases I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the mountains can you say that with me let's have a little pronunciation practice also, when you improve your pronunciation, you're also improving your listening, so they are linked together. Let's say it together. I'm gonna go to the mountains. 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 Lovely. Problem number three is, uh, don't get discouraged. A lot of English learners try to watch something in fast English, or they have a business meeting where people are speaking so comfortably in English, and they're just sitting there fearful please don't ask me a question please don't call on me to speak <laughs> because they can't understand the conversation that's happening and this can be really discouraging you feel like you'll never be able to actually understand what people are saying so we need to just take it slow I know we're talking about fast English here but don't expect yourself to be able to understand English overnight this is a journey. This is a process. So the problem that a lot of English learners have is that they get discouraged too quickly and they're not realistic about it. So let's see how secret number three can help you with this. Secret number three is to take some notes. Whenever you hear something fast, take a note about it. Write it down in a notebook, write it down on your phone. And when you learn one new quick phrase every day, this will build and build and build over time. So let me help you do this today. Take a look at this sentence. I gotta go. Well, if you're in a hurry and you're at a friend's house and you look at the time, ah, I gotta go, I'm gonna be late. This is a great phrase to use, but what's happening here? There are a lot of reductions, a lot of things that are cut out. We could say, I have got to go. This means I need to leave right now. I have got to go. But when we reduce that, we cut out have and got to becomes gotta, gotta, but we don't pronounce the T. So we're going to reduce it one more time. And in American English, the T's change to a D sound. Listen when I say it. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, sorry, I gotta go. I'm going to be late. I gotta go. Can you say that with me? Sorry, I gotta go. Sorry, I gotta go. Great, you just learned one normal and casual and natural reduced English phrase. You did it, great. 
So now I hope you feel a little bit less discouraged because you conquered that mountain. Mountain. <laughs> Problem number four that I see a lot of my English students making is don't just speak with yourself or your pet. This is a good starting point, but really to overcome that, secret number four is you need to speak with someone else. There is nothing like having a real-time conversation with someone. Do you know what real-time means? It means it's happening at that second. You can't pause and rewind and go back. No, if you don't understand at that second, there's real world consequences because you're going to need them to repeat. You're going to have to ask them, oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you repeat it? Or you're just gonna stand there and smile. So speaking with someone else in a real time conversation is going to test your listening skills and also help you to find the holes in what's difficult for you. Maybe you can understand some topics, but other topics, it's too much. I know that when I was living in France, as my French listening skills grew, I could understand a lot a lot of people, but for some reason, <laughs> there was the, the father of my host family, I could not understand him at all. There was ways that he was linking or reducing French expressions, the way that he was mumbling, it was so challenging. And finally, when I could understand him, I felt so proud of myself. <laughs> so it is essential to be able to have real-time conversations with someone else. If you feel like that might be a little too scary for you right now, or maybe you're not in a situation where you can find someone else to speak with, a good starting point is to check out my series, Speak With Me. You can click on the link up here. In these videos, I will give you some key vocabulary, some key questions, and we will have a little mini conversation practice together. The good thing about this type of practice is that it's kind of real time, but you can also pause the video and go back and practice it again. So I hope this will be a good tool to help you with this secret number four, speak with somebody else. Problem number five that I see a lot of English learners make is they just watch English lessons on YouTube, like this one. <laughs> and while that's great, you can't only do that. You also need to be able to practice real conversation listening skills because that's what happens in the real world. Whether you're watching a TV show, whether you're talking with someone at a hotel, whether you're talking with a client on the phone, it's not exactly an English teacher who speaks clearly and understandably and understands that you're an English learner. Nope, it's important to step that up. So if you can already understand me pretty well, maybe you're using subtitles, maybe not, that's okay. What if we added one more person to my conversation? What if we added someone who speaks a little bit clearly too, like my husband, Dan? Check out this clip. See how you feel. Can you understand generally what we're talking about? Can I say my second worst job? Oh yeah, sure. Can you guess what it is? Uh, I know you worked at a lot of coffee shops, but those weren't that bad. Working at a coffee shop is good. Okay. Well, what fun. was it? It's the sharpshooter. Oh, <laughs> can you explain about that I job? Have, yeah. So I don't know if you've ever seen this in your country, mm. but have you ever been to a place where somebody takes your picture and then later they try to sell you that picture? Uh -huh. I was that guy. So <laughs> yeah. we took the same pictures. It was going onto a boat mm -hmm. in a, on one of the rivers in Pittsburgh. So you're kind of like a cruise boat. Yeah. A kinda. river cruise. It's very kitschy though. Mm. Like not high class at all. So people, before they got on the boat, we forced them to stop and go through the line and we'd take their picture and mm -hmm. it was like required but people were like oh, I don't want to get my picture taken. And everyone had their own cameras and phones. And, and this is yeah they mind didn't you this them. is in like 2010 where people already have like phones on their cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean that's at least getting more popular. Yeah they didn't need your picture. <laughs> no and so I had to take everybody's picture and then when they got off the boat I stood at the side and said hey come over here buy this picture and mm. they were like twenty dollars for one picture. Like Crazy. A terrible ripoff. Even I knew it was a terrible ripoff. Just not a worthwhile business, mm -hmm. at least in 2010 when I was doing that. Yeah, job. maybe 10 years before that, yeah, it, it would have been cool. It was a viable business like 30 years ago. <laughs> okay, maybe that went all right for you, but what if we added a different speaker who speaks a little bit faster and maybe the topic isn't so comfortable for you? Check out this clip and watch what we're saying. 
you know, so there's a lot of different factors that go into play and it takes, that's why like, especially in this marker market, it's great to work with a realtor. Mm -hmm. We would have had no clue what to do. Like I, I pretty much guarantee we would never have gotten this house without you. <laughs> I'm so glad it worked out. Yeah. It's, it's so cool to see. I always feel like people land in the right places, even if it's a little tricky you know mm. they lose out on a few houses it's always a bummer but people always land in the place that they're meant to be yeah and I always keep that heart like when somebody loses you know it's just knowing that like that wasn't the right thing yeah that wasn't so. the destiny that was meant to happen <laughs> like yeah. another place would come up yeah. yeah was it a little bit more challenging what about the next step what if we took out the video completely and you only listened to our voices hmm Check out this quick clip where you're going to only listen to the audio of me speaking with my friend who's here in that past video, Brandy. Listen. If it's possible, pay off a car. I know it's a big chunk of change, mm. but sometimes lenders will say it's more important to pay off your car than it is to put this towards a down payment. Uh. So sometimes a, a lender, a good lender, again, is an important thing because mm. they can help guide you as to like what makes the most sense to help you get the house that you really want. It's a little bit tougher in that situation, huh? Well, what if you had a teacher to guide you? Someone nice, someone helpful, maybe someone like me. Someone who could guide you through all of those challenging conversations, who could introduce you and explain new vocabulary, and who could help you to not feel so overwhelmed when you're listening to fast English you would be able to understand fast English like never before, and maybe you would even have fun. I'd like to invite you to join me in the 30-day English listening challenge. Every day for 30 days, you will grow your listening skills so that you can comfortably understand your coworkers, friends across the world when you travel, people on the phone, and your favorite movies and TV shows. Click on the link in the description to get a special 25% off offer only available to you here only on this YouTube video. So make sure you click on that link and join me and thousands of other English learners who have felt more confidence, have felt their English listening skills grow so that they can go into the real world and understand what other people are saying. So now it's time for you to use what you've learned in this lesson. Tell me in the comments, what is something that you gotta do today? Use that phrase, I gotta go to the store. I gotta do some work. I gotta pick up my kids from school. Use that phrase and say it out loud. When you're using this and practicing it yourself, you will remember it and that is the goal. Well, thank you so much for learning English with me. I hope to see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye. The next step is to download the free PDF worksheet for Okay, what did you learn in this video? What comments do you have? There are good top, uh, tips that she provides us. Uh, maybe, first of all, with, uh, if you don't feel comfortable with, uh, or if you, don't feel, you know, if you don't feel familiar with a video that you are uh, uh, watching, maybe you can um, swap. Yep, you, you can swap with another uh to to understand maybe if that video you already watch it in in spanish and also you know teacher with native speaker they speak so fast and most of the time they don't uh, complete the 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 word when they are speaking maybe they uh they uh, uh what they make make a mix with uh two words or something like oh yep with two or three words at the same time so it's really difficult to understand but you have to to listen carefully and understand the context because when you understand the context maybe you understand the the complete phrase. Hey, so, very good. But yeah, very good. Uh, yeah, there were good tips, right? So yeah, uh, for example, the one where you watch a video, uh, I mean, that is a very good idea. Watch a video that you know already. So try to pay attention and identify words. Uh, so uh, there are, if there are words that you don't know, there you can find vocabulary and then you can also check the pronunciation. So there are many good things. Uh, any other comments?
Yes, teacher. Uh, she said uh, the first secret. <laughs> uh, watch a, a movie or TV on your native language. Uh, sometimes uh, you can, bueno, uh, well, and now you can change uh, when you watch TV or Netflix, for example, uh, you can change your language. If you know your native language, English, and you can you can watch the same movie or, or series, for example, and in order to understand a, or, or in it, a match with your native speaker in your English, uh, English language, uh, sometimes it is, it is a little different, but the idea is uh, in order to understand it, to me, it is the idea. Uh, sometimes, uh, for example, I repeat uh, some expressions about series. I don't know, for example, uh, Pinky and the Brain. I don't know if you remember this, 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 this series. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Pinky, he, he said, uh, hey, what are we going to do tonight, Brain? And and brain cell, the same thing we do every night, brain. Try, the, the same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. For example, <laughs> well, <laughs> but it's, sometimes it's, 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 it's fun. It's fun. English is um, a beautiful language, but sometimes it's very difficult. I don't know if you hear um, this expression in native speaker, they speak like a uh, hot potato in their mouth. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, that is true. They uh, they speak in a different way. Uh, and uh, yeah, the tips are like that one. And you are very, very right about something. I mean, um, English is something very nice. And we need to enjoy that one. So we need to yeah. watch things that you like. Um, I don't know. Get English into the things that you really like. So you just practice and then enjoy your life. A bit. So it's going to be a very good thing. Yes, is other studies some common linking in English. And three, she said, try to learn one new fast English phrase every day. For example, she said, "I gotta go." Uh, you you said yesterday, yesterday um, about uh, some words like going to, gonna, uh, what else? What else? Uh, it's a um expression or 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 the you the uh, uh, the sounds is like a one word. For example, like, um, sometimes they speak so fast and you don't understand. But I, in my experience, I talk with people from Canada, United States, and what else? What country? Well, well um, Canadian, Canadian people is, to me, is easy. To understand, they speak clearly, pause, and they pronounce every word uh, correctly. And on the other hand, uh, from the United States, they pronounce very fast. Uh, they use a lot of uh, phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs, and there are five thousand phrasal verbs not 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 used at all, but it's necessary to uh, almost one understand uh, one hundred, for example, uh, phrasal verbs that most use most use. Um, you um, listen to real conversation in English. She said, "Come on, oh, the last one. 
and talk to another and for to talk talk to another human who can interact with you, she said. Uh, sometimes it's difficult uh, because you don't have a person who speak English uh, like, like a native speaker or something that have um, English intermediate or uh, or advanced English. But it's, uh, there are some apps and you can repeat and listen and repeat in order to improve mm -hmm. your your pronunciation intonation and try to pause sometimes I, sometimes i i, I speak uh, fast and i don't uh, i don't pause uh, I have a, a, a lot of ideas. You try to order every idea um, with word use, with word uh, put here. And sometimes is when you explain something, it, it's, it's difficult. Uh, but uh, the main idea uh, is, is easy to, to give it to be with someone. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, you are very right. And yeah, there are many things that we can do. Sometimes we ask ourselves, what can I do, right? What can I do to improve my English? I would like to speak faster. I would like to be fluent. There are answers, definitely. But at the, at the level that we are, I mean, there is not a formula. I mean, it's practice in different right. ways. In different ways, if you practice, I mean, you are going to improve, definitely. So it's something that we need to consider. Remember that whenever you finish the classes also, you need to find a way to continue practicing and to continue learning, right? So that will be it. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Thank Steve. You. Any other comments or opinion? It's important that how the things change in, a, in the real English and in a, in a translator. For example, in the movie Back to the Future, there are a joke that the father of Michael, uh, the, the father in the past, they need to conquer her wife, his wife. And in the cafeteria, uh, he needs to say something, but he don't know how to say. And uh, uh, Marty said, uh, say her, you are my destiny. You are my destiny. And in Spanish, it's not no, no sense because uh, he forget the phrase and he says, you are my density. And uh, in English, it, it, it makes sense. You are my density, you are my destiny. It's very close. But in Spanish, no, you are my, tu eres mi densidad. <laughs> tu eres mi destino. No, it, it it's no sense. But in English, it's a, a good job. You are my density. <laughs> And the girl, what? <laughs> Chocolate, what? And, uh, it is uh, important to, and it, when you know the movie, and you see in the English, is uh, you get some scenes that in Spanish you don't get it. Yeah, definitely that happens. Yeah, and it's a very interesting the one that you say. I mean, when you watch a movie and you know English, you see in the in the translation. I mean, in the subtitles, something that is not correct. Right? You say no. He didn't say that. So you know, so that happens. English opens you to the truth. Nobody can lie to you. You know what's going on there. So uh, when you don't know, you accept what everybody says, what people say that is the meaning of something. But when you know, now you know that that is not true. <laughs> Very good, perfect. Any other comments, somebody else? Okay, so uh, yes, I, I really like this kind of videos because uh, as I was telling you, sometimes we're wondering, right? We're wondering, how can I improve? What can I do? There are many things that you can do. And uh, uh, well, it, it, if you see the, the tip number four, that is something very important. I mean, speak with somebody, practice. And that's why we're here. So whenever you have the chance to speak, speak. 
is going to be a good way for you to to continue right so some of you for example i remember that the last time that we were together in the previous class and the previous modules uh you were like doubting you were like thinking now you you speak a little bit better you are more fluent and that is because of the practice and we're facing a real problem uh, the real problem is that we're going to finish the modules and when we do that one i mean we latin american people we we don't continue. I mean, we do other activities, right? We uh, get together with friends. We go and have dinner, which are very good. But you need to find a space in your life every day for you to continue practicing. Because if you don't practice, I mean, maybe you are not going to forget everything, but you are going to uh, diminish the practice, the way that you are fluent and things like that. So it's very, very important that you find a way for you to continue practicing speaking English with somebody else's. That is very important. Okay, so if you have the chance, if you have somebody to practice with, tag that one because that is one of the most important things. Good, so it's time to go to our first homework. Uh, so we say that uh, we're going to bring two or three words, new words. We're gonna start with that one, okay? Uh, explain the words, the meaning of that, and also tell everybody uh, an example or two examples on that one. So the question as usual is, who wants to be the first one? Sorry, I was uh, uh, speaking without the mic. Okay. okay, me teacher. Definitely, let's listen to David then. Okay, uh, let me see, I lost, okay. If you, if you need to this. present, I, I can yes. stop presenting. Yes, I won. Okay. Yes, this is, I, I try to underline. I get this. Okay, I got it. Okay. Uh, I continue reading the the book Made to Stick. Uh, and uh, in the past, I was talking about the urban legend of the kidnapped haze. Somebody mm -hmm. give a drink and uh, the guy get uh, sleepy and when uh, he wake up, uh, uh, he lost one kidney and he was in a tube with the filled with ice and called to emergency and somebody like. And after that, the, the writer uh, says that this is a urban lane, it's, it's popular. And then, well, this is a nurture book. So how do we nurture our ideas to tell succeed in the world? Many of us struggle this is one, my word of struggle, I, I don't know, with how to communicate ideas effectively, how to get our ideas to make a difference. A biology teacher or a math teacher like me spent an hour explaining mitosis and a, a week later only three kids remember what it is. A manager makes speech unveiling a new strategy of the staffers, not they has enthusiastically, and the next day, the front line employees are observed cheerfully implementing the old one. Good ideas often had a hard time succeeding in the world. Yeah, this is, I don't know how to say ridiculous. 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 Yeah. Yes. Kidney Hayes. 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 Uh -huh. Hayes tell keep circulating with no resource whatsoever to support it. But it's simply because hijacked kidneys sell better than other topics or it is possible to make a true worldwide idea circulate as effectively as this false 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 idea and uh, that is the the mother of the book the first one is this one for me struggle i don't know what it is and it's uh, something like fight against something and the second one is unveiling something like uh, uncover so 
something that was covered before. And the last one is hijacking is someone to, to get a, force another one or force something to take it and uh, kidnap it. something like that. That is my three word teacher. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Anybody has a question for David? Okay, yeah, the three words are very interesting. Struggle. Uh, there is another mm -hmm. word there uh, that I don't know what is it, to be honest with you. Staffle or something like that. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, there was another word there that I didn't know what is what is that one, to be honest with you. Uh, it's like... This one. Struggle, unveiling, and hijacking. No, but there is another one, a different one. There, there. Uh, it says new strategy as the staffers. Ah, it's from staff, okay. right? Ah, uh, yeah, Stafford. I got it. Stafford. Stafford Snow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, the people from the staff. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, who wants to be the next one on the words? Anybody? Okay, I'm going. Uh, to Okay, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. Please, please, go ahead, okay. Martin. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, uh, my two words. Uh, the first one is Ali. Um, let me just type it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Ali. So it's like um it's related with an incident an incident sorry or a person for example uh in in the in the news is common use for example they say um without they say um Ali dead off because they're talking about something without proof of taking place, not something 100, 100 confirmed something that is in progress so it's like uh, something that is uh, not confirmed at least and uh, the second one horrendous horrendous is i think it's, it's like quite easy to to understand this one but you know uh, it's also important, you know, that is something extremely unpleasant, horrifying, or terrible. And the last one is daffodils. I hear it in a, in a song. Uh, is this one? Daffodils, daffodils is, um, is uh, a flower. Uh, it blooms at the end of the winter and it's usually color yellow. Or also, there are the other, the other colors like white and orange ones and red. Uh, it's here in El Salvador we call narcissus daffodils. So it's uh, that that flower. And those are my three words. Peter. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Uh, where did you where did you find these daffodils? Word. I mean, which song was that? A uh, song, the name of the song. Oh, okay, uh -huh. uh, I hear it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I never heard that song because I listened that word for the first time in one song of Canberra's. That's what I was wondering it was. It was the same song, but no, I never listened to that one. Okay, it's a good one. I recommend I recommend you to listen. Okay. Definitely, I'm going to check into that one. Thank you very much. Okay. Good, good. Nice. We're learning lots of words. That's good. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, we have two people. Let's listen to Dora first and then Roxanne. Okay, the first 
The first word is start up. Okay. This is a company in your in your beginning. Start when when the company is is a small company is in the beginning. Oh, uh, I guess that only the difference is that the writing is like this one, a startup company. Missing a T. Yeah. Yes. In the, uh, the founders, generous is the family. In the day uh, financial, the this company in if before the looking investment out. Okay. Very good, perfect, thank you. Let's continue. Set back. This is when uh, event to event uh, remains a, a, a process in determined determine time. Is missing an A or no? It's correct. Uh, it's correct. Yeah. Setback. You can say that. Yeah. Setback. The last one is pitch. This pitch when a uh, uh, presentation idea in in other persons all right very good so this is like the the one that we did last friday right? that you pitch an idea so something like that yes okay very good any question for dora my friends okay perfect thank you very much dora and now we're going to listen to roxanne Could you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, we can see. But I have two words tonight. Uh, this one is vacation. Uh, for example, uh, if you have no plans for your next vacation because you don't have enough money to spend in a trip uh, in another country or in another um, site, you can say something like that. I don't have enough money for my trip to Mexico. So I'm taking a, a, a staycation here. Uh, it's referring to say maybe in the in your house or in the same uh, country or the same city is spending your time. Okay. And the other is uh, Oh, that is earworm. This word is used to describe those sounds and melodies that once you hear them, you won't be able to get them out of your head because uh, that sound always uh, is uh, in your head. In, in your head, and you can say that the new Taylor Swift song is a real. Here, good, good. Okay, very interesting, very nice. Staycation, I never heard that one before, so that is a very good one. <laughs> Anybody has a question? It for sounds like friend? a jog, but it's the word staycation. You know, sometimes, sometimes those words come from a TV show or for uh, from jokes that you say. I mean, sometimes they are they are words that they don't exist previously and people start using it. So, uh, and that, that's the way it is. For example, I was reading, I was reading, uh, and actually I watched the chapter just because of that, that that word, uh, the friend song, you know, is mm -hmm. very popular now. And that first appeared in Friends in the TV show. 
So uh, I didn't know that one. So that that word that is very very popular was first used in the in the show. So that happens sometimes, and they become a word that everybody knows and stay with you forever. So it's a very interesting thing. Good. Any questions for Roxanne? Good job, Roxanne. Thank you. Okay, who wants to read that next one? I have to. I I want to. Uh, I have uh, this word. The miss. Okay. And this word is used when you are referring to remember someone else dead or when someone. Uh, you are talking about someone else that passed away, and, and you are talking at the event. Uh, as a noun, can be used on the, in that way, dismiss. But also, this is a verb to dismiss the, the fact itself to die, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the first word, and the the other one is. Let me write it down. Uh, let me write it down. Uh, I guess I it has a dash. This one, self-harm. Uh, this is used when someone uh, make damage to their self or they, for example, someone that uh, hurt their, their arms most of the time or, or when they do anything, for example, uh, hey, how can I say this? When you... Uh, hit the cabeza. Hit, hit the head. Hit, hit your head. Okay. When you hit your head, it is something you do to yourself. Is uh you do it to yourself. Self harm is uh, you do something to hurt you. And the other word is um this one borderline. Uh, it's not only used for uh, physical limits like a frontier. It's also used when you are talking about you are exhausted, you are at limit. Uh, I'm in I'm in the borderline of my ex my existence of, of a crisis or something like that. And I also I just knew it for the usage of like a physical frontier or so border, but it's, I didn't know that it's used also for a crisis or stuff like that. You are at the borderline. You are about to quit for something. Okay. Very mm -hmm. good. Very interesting. Uh, anybody has a question for Anna Claudia? No questions. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Anna Claudia. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, self harm is not good. Don't do that one. Okay. No, no, no. But it's good to know how to pronounce or how to say those words. <laughs> Yeah, in my, I mean, many things may happen. Imagine that you have a friend that only speaks English and, and she says, I am I do some self-harm. I mean, you need mm -hmm. to understand the word so you can help mm -hmm. or at least listen to that person, right? Exactly. Very good. Perfect. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Let's listen to Fernando Marvin. Okay, I will going to share my screen because uh, this week I saw a video about the uh, ways to say al revés in English. Okay. So it was interesting. So when we talk about something with uh, something with the, his head pointing down, we can use upside down. And when we talk about clothes we can use inside out and when we talk about positions sorry for the sensor image we can use all the way around so all 
these three words, it means al res. Very good, very good. So you say, well, this is very clear all the way around. The other one was, this one was upside down, right? Upside down, right. And the and other one was inside, uh, inside out. out. Okay. Yeah. Then you find uh, bad words. Bad words. The uh, bad words is kind of the yes the same. Uh -huh. uh, but I only have three because. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> but then, there is other <laughs> other four. Yeah. Uh, I saw only these three, but uh, when we when we was a uh, search image for 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 show you, so I I saw a post that uh, then. I guess then for to say our revised in English. So yeah. I so you can share with us other other way. Other yeah, well I remember that one, I don't remember any other, but words is something very common. And what what is interesting, and this is a very good thing, Marvin. Uh what is interesting about the words that he brought is that in Spanish we always say al revés, right? But in English, yeah. no. There are different words depending on what you are describing. So if you say one word, the other person is going to understand something. If you say other word, the other person is going to understand something different. So it's very important to use the correct word depending on what you want to describe. Yeah, it's very interesting. Very interesting. That is very good. Perfect. Uh, anybody has a question for Marvin? Okay. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry. Can you can you say again the, the three the three of them with the image upside down the other upside inside down, inside, inside out. out yeah and the last one the other way around when you talk the about position. Way. The other way around. And the other way around. The other way around. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good, perfect. Any other question? Perfect. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, uh, who wants to be the next one? Okay, I'm gonna choose them. Uh, let's see who has not passed yet. Uh, William Alexander. The first one is six number two. Uh, it is a fun word that most people know. This is uh, referring to an umbrella and is something we have heard in many a Disney film or in many different books. It is quite fun to grab your umbrella and say in a fun voice, I think I need my bomber shoe today. Here is the first one. Perfect. And the second one is this. In Bible, okay. Bible, it is uh, to drink often, to eat and or drink no noisily. Okay. And the last one is Imerens. The word limerence was coined only recently in the 90s by psychologist Dorothy Tenno. It can be defined as an involuntary state of mind resulting from a romantic attraction to another person combined with an overwhelming obsessive need to have one's feeling reciprocate. For example, Eva wasn't sure how to shake her rest, recent feelings or limerence. Great. That's Perfect. Very good. Very nice words, this one. You can see that, that they are 
um yeah no that common but that makes them very nice right so yeah and some of them i mean the three of them you can use it in a regular way so sometimes there are different words fancy words for things and we can include that one in our conversation so you are going to sound very fancy very nice very good perfect thank you william anybody has a question for william before we move on Good. Okay. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Steve. Let's listen to Steve. Okay. The first one work. Uh, maybe everybody knows. Uh, well, pay. It's an it's a noun. It's an acronym. Uh, before anyone, but uh, every in social media. Um. You, you look at uh, this work like a baby or, or like a, when you say your 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 girlfriend she's my she's my babe or for example I go into the movies with my my babe a babe is like a girlfriend or or boyfriend and it's a real is in a acronym before anyone. I sometimes in social media use like a baby, bay. And the other word is um this is ca scabbard. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this word is scavenge is when someone search for or call it uh, anything that something don't use uh, people sell junk and scavenge and on the garbage. It's, it's, it, um, they this is this word is used for these people look for a, a, in into the uh, someone don't use but they can use a, a this, this a, they call it call it and from this 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 garbage and then use like mm -hmm. uh recyclable something Okay. And there are another words similar, but I'm going to write it. Free gun. Free gun is a, is a noun. It's a sophisticated word version of the the, the scavenge or scavenge. Uh, Freegans reject consumerism and contribute to improving the environment, reduce waste, and save uh, the world using food or other, or other products uh, in order to save, save the world, uh, uh, avoid uh, buy new things. Uh, for example, I met a group of freegans and was blown away when they say, show me how much food is wet every day. Okay, very interesting, very good, perfect, thank you. Acronyms are also very good. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, that's all. Okay, perfect. Yeah, very interesting. And there are also words that you can include in your regular vocabulary. So. Uh, whenever you see a new word, that is something that uh, probably is good to, to do, right? To to get something, I mean, not only to understand what the word is, but also to try to to get that into, into our regular vocabulary. Good, perfect, thank you. Who wants to be the next one? Just a few are missing. Me, teacher. Okay, perfect, Giselle. Okay, the first word is write it in the chat. This 
one. Keep. And keep means uh, it's a kind of informal way to, to express or to say that, that you want to sleep or to rest. And an example of that could be, can I keep here tonight? It's not like, the, like the verb to sleep, but it's, it's the, in that way is that I want to stay here. That's keep. The second one um, is chillax. I know the word chill, you know, ah, yeah, chill, like relax, you know, but chillax is very similar. It is when you want to express a, that you are yeah, kind of relaxed. And an example of using that word is for uh, he spent the weekend chillaxing at his beach house. And the last one is I have mislaying. For me, this is a, a very new word I never heard, or maybe someday in my life, but for me, it's very new. Mislaying is when you put something uh, in a place, but you didn't mean it. Like you just forgot that you put this or that thing in that place. And an example of that could be, I am always mislaying my ID card. It's something that you don't want to do, but you unintentionally do that. And after you do that action, you can find the thing. But yeah, that's mislaying. That word, that's the three words I'm going to write together. Chat and mislaying. Perfect. Keep and mislaying. Nice, perfect. So thank you very much. Very good words, very nice. Chillax is something, I mean, again, it's a new word that comes uh, popular. Uh, people used to use it a long time ago. And now it's something that we can use like in a regular thing. Mm -hmm. uh, very good, perfect. Anybody has a question for Giselle and her words? No, teacher. That chill out, chill out. Yeah, I hear chill out, chill out. But uh, she said uh, similar, similar meaning. Yeah, uh, yeah, the meaning is kind of the like same. you relax. Exactly. So it's like the 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 blend of the two words, uh, chill and relax, yeah. something like that. Yes. Okay. And chill out is the phrase of it. I mean, you can say chill out or chilling. You can say I'm chilling. Yes. Yeah. Like chill like you the next week that you will be chillax, no English class. Well, I don't know yet, but I believe <laughs> I believe that you are not going to have classes. So <laughs> good, very good, perfect. Um. Who wants to be the next one? Okay, only a few people missing. Let's check then. Um, it's missing Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Are you ready with your words? Uh, I think so. Perfect. Go ahead, please. Uh, draconian. I will put the words in the chat. Okay. Draconia, uh, an adjective to describe something that is excessively harsh or severe. For example, uh, the new parking fines are possi possibly draconia. Uh, repost. Uh, this word is is a uh, quit or witty witty. With tailored reply, uh, for example, uh, in, it's, it's very easy in the sport. I read uh, when uh, a, a team uh, defends very good, and after defending, uh, they uh, they uh, they go with a counter attack, and that that they have successful with the counter attack. That just that that, that expression repost. Uh, uh, limerence limerence uh, the word limerence uh, 
uh, is a psychologist uh, word define an involuntary state of mind resulting from a, maybe a romantic attraction. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for example, Eva, Eva wasn't sure how to shape her same feelings of limerence. And that, that is the, those words. Okay, very good, very interesting. Yeah, uh, limerence, that is a very nice word. Very good, perfect. Anybody has a question for uh, Fernando Ernesto? No, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Uh, who's missing? Francisco Eduardo. Okay, not possible, Francisco. Uh, Juan Miguel, I don't know if it's possible for you. Yes, teacher. I just okay. finished the other, the other exam. Okay, okay I, I, I was... Uh, looking for this word uh, a couple of minutes uh, before the class. Uh, and there are my, my three words. One of them is, I will write over here, ghost, ghost, yeah. It's uh, when you are ignored yeah but um for example uh, two people or many are talking about a topic and you try to win yeah in in the in the talking and people not care about you yeah even if you try to talk uh, they does they don't care about you so you are ghost in that situation you were ignored yeah but uh could be that you cannot cannot uh know why that happened yeah only you were ignored you were a ghost yeah the other word uh is I will write here. I guess you are uh, typing that one just no. for me. Uh -huh. You just need to change that to everyone. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, no worries. Okay. The first word was ghosted. Yeah. The second one is no, no. Yeah. Uh, that a noob, it's known for be or be an maybe an a new people in a new situation maybe uh you are an experimental in uh you don't know almost anything about what are you doing there yeah so you are you are a new yeah you are uh i don't know if the if the term is right, like a new person in a yeah in a new situation yeah, uh -huh. but with now with any kind of no of knowledge about the the things, it's very used in uh in the game in gaming yeah when you are uh, a new person in the game you are a noob yeah or maybe they say that you are a newbie also yeah and the the other word is stan yeah like the uh, eminem song stan uh stan is not only is not only the the name of that song and is not only the name of a person is how to say this is when you are so obsessed with uh with an artist yeah a celebrity or a, a fandom yeah that's why the the song stan this is this is about this guy who is really really obsessed 
with uh, with Eminem, yeah, and he try to do he tries to do anything in order to Eminem uh, or in order to um, yeah to Eminem realize that he exists, yeah, uh, he's Stan, yeah, a, a very very obsessed person with with this uh, celebrity, yeah. Okay, very good, interesting, very nice. Anybody has a question for Juan Miguel? No, I just want to make a comment. I, I just have a comment, I'm sorry. Is uh, this, the first word ghost is also very common nowadays to hear it in relationship. Uh, psychologists are using that word when someone is ghosting. So that means in that relationship is uh, suddenly one of the, the two persons, they suddenly don't answer uh, any phone calls, suddenly disappear with no yeah. word, no reason. And the other one is asking, what happened? What did I uh, did wrong or something like that? It's like a common, uh, it's like, a, a, uh, it's like an attitude. It's like a common attitude nowadays. We're doing, uh, ghosting is so popular. Unfortunately. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you are right. So that is something that is now uh, a popular term. It's not good, definitely. I don't know. I, don't know. I believe that it's better for you to say, stop calling me and see you in the other life. I don't know. Uh, but I mean, people are like that one and are changing. I mean, uh, all the, um, how can I say, uh, generations are totally different right mm -hmm. so uh, they get used for something different uh, and i have lived that one because i mean in my job sometimes we have people that they are 18 years old 20 years old 50 years old so it's interesting how everybody's different how everybody treats the other people in different ways um mm -hmm. it shouldn't be that way but so all, sometimes media is causing this to happen as well. Exactly. I was about to mention that. It's kind of rude for me. It's a rude attitude. Yeah, definitely not, not good, but it's something that uh, is happening. And Stan is also a very good term. I mean, sometimes we might believe that some words, or I mean, in songs that happens a lot, that they use some words or some concepts in, in, a, in a way that is different than we usually no, right? So Stan, in this case, is not only the name of the character, but also uh, the adjective of this person that is is doing that one. And that happens a lot. I, I, there are people that they are obsessed with some celebrities. I mean, I, I read the news and people, they get into their houses sometimes, steal things. I mean, people are crazy. I, I, I know that maybe you are a fan of of uh, people in my and that has always happened i mean uh, in the 80s uh, that fan that was a huge fan of john lennon he wanted to be linked to him forever so he killed him i mean yes. that was not good i mean that's that's crazy that's crazy um i remember also that uh, other this was a very famous guy that was crying uh, when britney spears uh, had her crisis and he was crying and saying, please leave Prince Spear alone. And he was, I don't know, a lot of things happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to be the world like in 20 years or 30 years. Hopefully in 40 years, I won't be here. So let's see. I won't be able to discuss on that one. So <laughs> very good. Perfect. Thank you, uh, Juan Miguel. Is there anybody missing? I believe not, right? Wendy Patricia, but it seems that he's trying to connect. Maybe the internet connection is not, is not that good. And the rest we did. Very good. So now uh, is the time for the second homework. You are going to tell a piece of news. Read. So this is what's going to happen, okay? One person is going to read everything. Um, read is fine, but it has to be in a way that everybody gets the idea as well. So fast, but telling the idea. And we, the rest of the people, we're trying to, to understand what is the news about and rephrase that one in your own words. Okay? Any questions with the activity? 
Yeah, if we have the screen, uh, we can use that. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? Yeah, if I have the uh, screen, can I share or not? You mean like screen, like yelling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, you can do whatever you want. Okay. No, teacher, I think that Roxana says that if if she has the the screen to share, yeah, yeah Roxana. Sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, uh, it's better if you just say that one, but if you want to share it, that is the way that you practice, that is not a problem. You can do it, yeah. Okay, again, the question is, who wants to be the first one? Number one. Me, teacher. Very good, David. We're going to listen to David and his piece of news. Here we come. And now on the next screen, we're going to listen to David that is coming with the brightest news. So, David, what is on your side? Hello, my name is David Ken, and this is YSTY News. I'm here to present the latest on former President Trump's indictment. Former President Donald Trump faces more than 30 counts related to business fraud in a surveys indictment from the Manhattan Grand Jury, according to sources. It is the first time in U.S. history that the current or former president has been criminally charged. The indictment was filed under seal and charges are not yet public. Trump is expected to appear in court Tuesday for his arraignment source tell YSTY. Trump's attorney said the former president will absolutely voluntarily surrender to the other law enforcement and plans to file substantial legal challenge. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has been investigating the former president in connection with his alleged role in a hush money payment scam and cover up involving adult film star Stormy Daniels that dates to the 2016 presidential election. That's all for tonight. Thank you, David, for that piece of mind. So we're going to go for some commercials, and then we're going to get back. <laughs> That was amazing. Very good. <laughs> very good. I mean, it was very nice the way that, I mean, uh, even the posture was like, well, well, so, so it was very good. And also, yeah, the, the reading was very nice. The intonation, the presence, um, the pronunciation, very, very good. Nice. Congratulations, David. So the question is for my friend, what did you understand on the news that David was telling one or it's two so, it happened today. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's about, about Donald one. Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the news is right. related with Donald Trump. He, mm -hmm. He's accused, and if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, David said that he has at least 30 uh, charged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Charges. Yeah. And I don't know the 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 weird thing that is that, uh, or could be that he's a he's an expression, yeah. And obviously yeah. here in El Salvador is like a weird to see a president uh, facing charges, yeah. But obviously in the U, U, USA is is not so weird, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, of course. Very good, perfect, nice. So yeah, it was about Donald Trump and the charges that he's facing uh, because he uh, gave money uh, because uh, she, he wanted to avoid some scandal with some girl. I mean, it was a mess. Okay, any other comment? Uh, what did you understand about Davis News? No, very good, perfect, very nice job, David. Maybe uh, the only question that I have to myself is, I mean, I still don't understand why people vote and get Donald Trump as a president. I still, I mean, the world is damaged, my friends. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Uh, something was not good there. I mean, maybe he was a good businessman, but that is totally different. To be a president, you should be somebody that we respect or something. But I mean, this is the world we're living in, and that is happening not only there, but everywhere, right? So, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher, maybe. 
Good, let's listen to Juan Miguel. Now we are going to go back live to Juan Miguel that has some uh, important information about this is happening right now. Okay, okay. thank you for uh, watching this NBC channel. At least 24 injured people have been taken to the hospital after a devastating tornado hit Little Rock, Arkansas, according to the city's mayor. The twister turned through the state's capital city on Friday, flipping cars, smashing roofs, and toppling trees. Several blocks have been heavily damaged, according to aerial footage post posted by the Weather Channel. Nearly 90 million people in 15 U.S. states are under threat from an explosive storm system. A state of emergency has also been declared in Missouri, and two tornadoes were reported in Iowa also. Gulf ball-sized hail, hail fell in Illinois, damaging car windows. So that, that was my report. Back to the study. Thank you for that report, Juan Miguel, and we're going to go back to some commercials again. All right, very good. Nice, perfect, nice reading. It was it was fast. That's very good. So, um, I mean, I want to ask everybody, what did you understand about Juan Miguel's news? You were talking about uh, tornadoes and crumbs in Arkansas. It was my news. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's say that yes. you are in a different channel. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is our channel. Yeah, yeah. We're going to switch the channel. So you are going to be on the news as well. <laughs> the female version. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <so. laughs> and then we're going to analyze who's lying, right? <laughs> okay. Very good. Uh, so what did you get? I mean, it was a tornado. So it was just one tornado. It, it were few tornadoes. What happened? I, I don't know. It was two tornadoes. Two tornadoes. And get damage uh, around uh, different countries, Illinois or Kansas, uh, New York, Illinois, and others. Yeah, yeah, and he said that the roofs were, I mean, flying out and things that were, I mean, that was, I mean, in the United States, that happens a lot, right? In some states, of course, uh, it happens a lot. They, the tornadoes, I mean, the twisters, they are, it's a problem. I, I still don't understand why they continue building houses made of wood or, I don't know, uh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, but anyways, anyways, it's just an idea here, right? Uh, any comments or any other um, thing about uh, Juan Miguel's news? Perfect. Thank you. I believe it will be very interesting to, to switch the channel and listen to the same news in a different lo, lo, channel because... Lo, lo de, how, how do you say primicia? A prime. Lo, lo de primicia. Yeah. So, sorry. You was watching Código 21. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that now, happens now, in the US. Now, they are fighting for the for the news, right? Needs to be like a rojo vivo to, to get that advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably you're right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to listen to Roxanne in a different channel. So here we go. Okay. Good night, everybody. You are watching uh BBC News tonight, and the news for tonight is Sonator. Tornadoes killed at least three people in Arkansas as a strong tour from Midwest and South. The tornadoes in Little Rock and Wheat areas also injured at least 30 people and destroyed homes. Tornadoes watches were in effect from Illinois to Mississippi. North Little Rock, Arkansas, two tornadoes that struck in Arkansas on Friday killed three people and injured at least two dozen to the same, tearing down trees and destroying homes, has a dangerous storm system swept through the up, upper Midwest and South official say. The first tornado, which struck at about 3 p.m. near Little Rock and from the go governor to declare, to declare a state of emergency, killed one person on North Little Rock, the corner 
of Pulaski country. Frank Coates Jr., the mayor of Little Rock, said that the news conference on Friday night that more than 30 per people had been hospitalized in the city. Many residents see at and uh, had also been dis displaced. A second tornado in Wind, Arkansas, about 100 miles east of River Rock, struck about 6 p.m. and killed two people. The Arkansas emergency manager, Rebecca Magnus, said no other information was immediately available. Thank you. Thank you for that report, Roxanne. And now we're going to back to our public to say the poll and what they think about this news. <laughs> very good, very good, perfect. It was a very fast reading, very nice. Um, so what did you understand on this uh, this side of the news? I think we were one tornado more than in the previous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, something's going on there, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Any other any other comments? Uh, what did you understand on? Roxana's uh, news. I saw that news in other channel. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I really do that one. I, I like to read three newspapers in the morning so I can compare. And sometimes it's different. I mean, they say the same piece of news in different <laughs> ways. Who's telling the truth also? Yeah, well, <laughs> and who's <that> is, lying? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you see that one is on on the side of the government, the other one is on the side of the other the other people, and, and that happens on the news. So, and if you if you I mean if you just watch one, you are not going to see, you are not going to be objective on, on the opinions on things. They are manipulating things. So that happens, and that happens around the world. Very good, good job, Roxanne. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, who wants to be the next one? My turn, teacher. Very good. Let's listen to Fernando Marvin, that is from the other side of the country with a brand new news here. Okay. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Channel 5 News. I'm Fernando Gonzalez, and this is our headline tonight. Uh, I can share my screen. Sorry, can you see? Uh, not yet, but it's not. Ah, okay, here you go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, technical problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, ChatGPT ban in Italy over privacy concern. The Italian Data Protection Authority say there were privacy concerns relating to the model, which was created by use star OpenAI and is backed by Microsoft. The regulators say will ban and investigate OpenAI with immediate effect. Millions of people have used ChatGPT since its launch in November 2022. It can answer questions using natural human-like language, and it can also mimic other writing styles using the internet as it was in 2021 as its databases. Microsoft has spent billions of dollars on it. It was added to Bing last month. There have been concern over the potential risk of artificial intelligence, including its threat to jobs and the spreading of misinformation and BS. Early this week, key figures in tech, including Elon Musk, called for these types of AI system to be suspended amid fears the race to develop them was out of control. The Italian watchdog said that not only will it block OpenAI chatbot, but it will also investigate whether it complies with general data protection regulation. They say on 20 March the, that the ad had experienced a data breach involving use and conversation and payment information. Uh, it said there was no legal basis to justify the mass collection and storage of personal data for the purpose of training the algorithm underlying the operation of the platform. It also said that since there was no way to verify the age of users, the app exposed minors to absolutely unsuitable answer compared to the degree of development and awareness. So the Italian Data Protection Authority say OpenAI had 20 days to say how it will address the watchdog concerns 
under penalty of a fine $20 million. ChatGPT is already blocked in a number of countries, including China, Iran, North Korea, and Russia. So, thank you. Thank you very much for that information, So now we're going to analyze with the public to check what they mean, okay? Very good, perfect, thank you. Interesting, is this a real news? Yes, yeah, it's a real news. yes, it's real. Okay, so uh, what did you understand, for, first of all, about this news? So, GPT has been banned from Italy. Yeah, uh, among the yes. situations uh, that was one that's, that uh, Fernando was talking about, that uh, children or maybe the teenagers have um, a huge access to a huge of information that could be maybe misused. Yeah, and they they are trying to to control or to yeah to control this kind of of situations because because of that because you can uh, misuse this information and maybe do something that is against the law or in the in the uh, in the worst scenarios and for the other hand you can use this tool to maybe to do your own homework and with no effort yeah just that okay perfect thank you very much so any other opinion on the news any other that you have seen or understood okay so interesting interesting uh i didn't know that one i didn't read about that one and 20 million dollars that is a lot of money so and and i i believe it's right i mean we need to regulate so many things right so many things has to be uh, under the law we need to be protected the problem is that sometimes the governments they use this same information that they have so they manipulate their own rights so uh, it's a big problem we say we need regulation but the ones who create the laws are kind of the same people so I don't know. I don't know. I believe it's better to educate ourselves, uh, our <clears throat> kids, in a better way. I know it's difficult, but they need to know. And they need to be careful about those kind of things. Anyways, okay. But teacher, like you say, government use the, the the same information. Other people can say yeah. that it's a topic of money because twenty million dollars, or I guess a uh, four percent of annual revenues so it's a bit amount yeah it can be a bit of money yeah definitely yeah that is like like the main thing right the main thing at the end is almost always money in, in every dispute in every problem in every war money is the the thing power things that that one so yeah, yeah. okay very good perfect any questions for fernando no issue. All right, who wants to be that next one? Okay, I'm going to choose. Ah, Jose Marcos. Very good. Okay, this is it. Uh, okay, I'm going to start. In the other news, on Sunday, on Sunday, there was still a lot of confusion in the account of the damage from the horrendous day on Saturday, in which several fans were injured after the multiple fights inside the La Corregidora Stadium during the Querétaro versus Atlas in the MX League. The authorities officially report that there was 26 injuries and no death. After the incident in which the Atlas and Querétaro made on clash during the second half, uh, however, there is still a, a lot of confusion on the social network. There are many people questioning in the, the information from the authorities. They kill my friend. It's confirmed. A woman comment in an interview talking about a uh, alleged de death of the person called Arturo. The governor of Querétaro denied through a video on social network in the last hour that there, there was a death. He also sent a message, message to the attackers. 
they will not go unpunished. I'm going to find you because you don't deserve to be on the streets. For his part, the president of La, La Liga MX, Michael Arriola, said that there will be no more visiting cheers in the Mexican League matches, which suspend his day on Sunday. We will deliver more information as we know more about the status of the injured ones. Stay tuned. Thank you for that report, Mr. Marcus. And now we're going to go to the public to check what are their opinions. So, my friends, what did you understand on Marcus' news? There was a penalty uh, under the same. Yeah, because there were some injured people, right? So, I mean, it was like, that's not good. I mean, sports shouldn't be that way, but sometimes uh, that happens. I mean, we're passionate, right? Here in El Salvador, you can see that one. I mean, I, I almost never go to the stadium, but when I go, I, I can see people that are angry. They're like, it's my cane and I'm going to. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It shouldn't be that way, but that's the way it is, right? Any other comment about uh, Marcus News? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Marcus, for that report. Uh, now we're going to go with, let's see, Luis Albert. Steve. Okay, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome tonight. Welcome tonight, CNN, CNN Business. Today, I'm going to talk Italy about chat GPT over privacy concert. London CNN regulators in Italy used a temporary ban on chat GPT Friday, effective immediately due to privacy concerns and say they had opened an investigation into how open a aisle U.S. company behind the popular chatbot use data. Italy's data protection agency said users lacked information about the collection of their data and that a breach that GPT had been reported on March 20. There appeared to be no legal basis underpinning the massive collection and processes of personal data in order to train. The algorithms on which the platform relies, the agency said. The Italian regulators also expressed concerns over the lack of age verification for chat, chat GPT users. These are key that these expose children to receive the responses that are absolutely inappropriate to their age and awareness. The platform is supposed to be for users older than. 30 years old is not. The data protection agency said open will be barred from processing the data on Italy user until it respects the privacy regulation. Open A has been given 20 days to communicate the measures it will take to complete with Italy's data rules. Otherwise, it could face a penalty up to any euros millions, like uh, twenty one point eight million dollars. Annual global turnover report from CNN Business Steve Canales. Thank you, Steve, for that report. And it was very interesting. We're going to check with the audience what they think about. Ah, this is another one from a different channel, right? So good, yes. we can compare. <laughs> we can compare what's going on there. So <laughs> very good. What did you get from uh Steve uh, News? Nothing at all. Yeah, it was the same news, right? That was the uh, chat GPD being banned. Uh, yeah, it was very similar. Uh, I believe that this matched uh, a lot with the other one. So it was very, very accurate. So 
Very good, very interesting. Uh, do you have any questions for Steve? Okay. Thank you, Steve. So thank you, teacher. Uh let's listen now to Dora Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. Um, can you share the screen? If you want, of course. Yes. Vamos a ver. Can you see the screen? No, uh, not yet, by now, no. Uh, this is channel DF El Salvador, broadcasting from El Salvador to the world. And let's start with the DF news. This week is a Easter week for all, almost, or maybe almost we, we can uh, we have a vacation. Is what could you like to do this week? Today, in the interview this morning, the Minister of Culture, she said we have a valid agenda for all. El Salvador has a beautiful species. Besides, among other things, you could visit the next place with your family from first to night, April, April. such as a museum, theater, exhibition halls, hired buildings, archaeologists, and cultural parks. This place will remain open all week, except on Good Friday, if you like to, to visit it. Uh, like a, a new, a new words in this class is uh, the, uh, let me see the, I don't know, I don't remember, but she's a, a, a vacation, a station, a station back, a station back, if you don't have a morning, you'll visit all places in the Salvador. Other news for this quit is, uh, I don't know, do you like then the scorpion, I have a good news for lovers hard rock. The band scorpion to include El Salvador in their tour concert called Trocat Believer. The band will be a concert next Saturday at 7 p.m. at the Stadium Cuscatlan. The prices tickets are ultra premium $175, platinum $100. $25, VIP, $100, audience, $700, tribute, $1,500, and shares, $3,500, more tickets office. Among the ladies are, we on the chain, send me an angel, still loving you, dusting in the wind, etc. This is all for all night, for this night. Thank you, Zola, for all the spectacles, and we are going to check with the audience where are they going to go, so thank you for that. Very nice, very nice. What did you get from uh, Dora's news, my friend? Uh, fancy the concert. Oh, I'm going to be there in that concert, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. I cannot lose that one. The problem See, is the money, we, right? We not change. Yeah, it's going to be, I mean... I was checking. I was checking the playlist that they are going to do it. Uh, I know 
I don't know all the songs, but uh, it's going to be a good concert. The sad part is that Still Loving You is not going to be played. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, it's going to be a good one. And there are many others, you know, that Red Hot Chili Peppers are coming. Uh, Keys yeah. is coming. Uh, and many other bands. I really like rock, and this year I'm going to spend a lot of money on that. <laughs> That's what I'm teaching here in my English classes to go to. The <laughs> okay, very good. Perfect. What else did you get from uh, Dora's uh, news? Activities for next week. Uh, looking at her presentation, till now I remember that this is called Good Friday, right? Yeah, Good Friday. And you say this that we known as kind of Hollywood, but it's not the correct word you say. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, no, you can say Hollywood. That is fine. But for this one is uh, Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday. Ah, okay. Friday. Can we say the same for uh, Thursday? No. Uh, no, Thursday has a different name. I don't remember that one. For this one, you can say also Easter, Easter week, but ah, uh, Holy okay. Week is, is good. Huh? Ah, okay. Thank you. Good. Very good. Uh, nice. Thank you, Dora, for everything that you explained. And now you have an idea on where to go on vacations. So, okay. uh, let's see who's going to be Vacation in around the corner. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, we're going to listen now to who's missing? Giselle. Okay, teacher. Okay. okay, thanks everybody for watching us. This is GG News. Internationals, Norway avalanches. Tourists among four killed in north of country. A series of avalanches in Norway's far north has claimed the lives of four people, police say. In the most deadly incident, a house and barn were swept into the sea on the island of Reynoya. Two people were confirmed killed and 140 goats were in the barn at the time, according to the authorities. Two tourists were killed in two other avalanches. Both are believed to be foreigners although their nationalities are not yet known. In the first avalanche in Lingen, one person died and two others were hurt. There were five people of foreign origin that were on an outing in the area. We can confirm that one person is deceased. Police spokesman Martin Peterson told journalists, two others were hurt, one critically and one with moderate injuries. The spokesman added, Later in the evening, police said a fourth person had been killed in another avalanche at Storslet in the North Dresaya area. Thank you for watching. Good night. Good night, Giselle. Thank you for that piece of news. And we're going to go to the audience to check what they think about this avalanche. So what did you get from the news, my friends? We're going to other places in this vacation. <laughs> yeah. where, where was the, the news? The news? Uh, the the country, Norway yeah. avalanches. Yeah, I guess, I guess that that was in Norway. And well, my goal is is uh, a tour thing in Norway in the future. But with this news, yeah, I think <laughs> I think <laughs> twice. I think. Do you think <laughs> you need to research what is the best time for you to go there? And not in this time, right? So in this, in, in April, May, not a good idea. <laughs> Okay, very good. Yes, Avalanche. Uh, very good. Any other any other comment about Giselle's or oh, Gigi, right? Ah, now we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any any other comment? Anything else that you got from her news? Good, perfect. Thank you, Giselle. Uh, let's see uh, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi everybody here, here is Fernando and this is Fox Sports uh, Barcelona in contact with Lionel Messi over summer reunion says Club BP Football Club Barcelona is in discussion with Lionel Messi and his come over potential reunion this summer the club's vice president Rafa Juste said in news conference on Friday 
and I still got it, he couldn't continue here. Just say, of course, I wouldn't like him to come back because of what he represents on a sporting, social, and economic level. We are in contact with them, yes. Beautiful story should have happy ending, and there is a mutual lobby between the two parties. Messi, uh, with uh, Diri, five years old, has been this, the entry of his senior career with Barcelona before being forced to live on free transfer in 2021. Uh, if the football club Barcelona wants to Messi come back, they have to uh, free the, their budget for uh, 160 million of dollars. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for that piece of news. It's very interesting. So now we're going to go with the spectacles. Ah, that's not true. Okay, so what did you get from uh, Fernando Ernesto's news? I only can say I don't believe. <laughs> Unbelievable that they're thinking about that one. I mean, I know that he's a figure, but I mean, it's better to move on, right? So... Yeah, yeah, uh, that happens a lot. Uh, I believe that this institution, they have a lot of problems. But anyway, good, good. We don't have a lot of time, so we're going to move on. So let's see um, Francisco Eduardo. Not possible. How says we... Not possible either. Very good. Okay. I guess we made it, right? Is there anybody else is missing? I don't think so. No, I don't. I'm going to read mine. Ah, that is true. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, I was trying to find another one because the other one was so complete. No, but the, go ahead. Don't worry. We're going to listen to you. Okay. I have a teleprompter here. Welcome to the Monarchy Channel, where we talk about all things royal. Today's program, we will deal with the enigma that was Diana, Princess of Wales. When most people think of Lady Diana, they think of her ultimate demise. But who was she? And was there anything suspicious that led to her tragic death? Lady Diana Spencer grew up close to the royal family on their Sandringham state. She became engaged to the Prince of Wales, now King Charles III, and got married in 1981. The union bore two sons, Harry and William, but the marriage was not a happy one. Indeed, Lady Diana is quoted as saying, he made me feel so inadequate in every possible way that each time I came up for air, he put me down again. They divorced in 1996 after the divorce Lady Diana was rumored to have numerous relationships. Some serious, some platonic, but all of which seemed to indicate that Diana was constantly searching for her identity. It is also said she self-harmed and suffered from eating disorders and possibly borderline personality disorder. Whatever the actual facts of Diana's life, she clearly was not in a good place and the nature of her position in life meant getting mainful help was difficult. So lots of intrigue and social complexity, but was there anything that led to her premature death? Of course, there are many conspiracy theories around. And then they seem inspired by the note Diana wrote where she says she expected a car accident to be arranged to kill her to clear the path for Charles to marry again. However, all connected conspiracy theories had been comprehensively debunked. The real cause of Diana's death was the accident itself. Like all accidents, there are multiple factors that contribute. The car itself was being driven too fast for the conditions. The driver had been drinking. The reports chasing the vehicle were causing unnecessary panic for the driver. The car entered the tunnel and hit a pillar. Diana was not wearing a seat belt. She had the bad luck of sustaining a tiny tear in the vein of her lung. Incredibly rare, but fatal. Sergeant Xavier Garmelon, who led the response team in Paris, reported Diana's last word as, my God, what happened? 
And so ended the complicated, large, and fulfilled life for life, Lady Diana Spencer. Her untimely death captivity people across the world and became a catalyst for grief, not just for her, but for all banner of people who had lost someone important and for various reasons have never been able to grieve openly for them. Thank you, for your, thank you for your report, Claudia, and we're going to check with the audience. What did you get for her news? Let's check everybody. I truly believe that she was killed. <laughs> really? Yeah. By the monarchy? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I think that the monarchy had a lot of, had a lot of dark, very, very dark secrets. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And still through the years, I think that Princess Diana is still a, an icon and a symbol for the modern women's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very sad what happened. I mean, she was she was in love, you know. But she was ghosted, right? <laughs> she suffered all her life. Yeah, that, that was not good. At the end, she got divorced and she was living her life. But uh, yeah, you're right. The monarchy, they never approved what she was doing in many ways. I, I don't know if we ever going to know if that happened. Mm -hmm. and, and you are right. Monarchy... It's very dark. You see those kind of boys and girls there, but uh, lots of problems there. Lots of problems. Mm -hmm. uh, not good. Very good. And it's a uh, very interesting your piece of new on cloud. I mean, mm -hmm. um, she is still uh, nowadays. She is still somebody mm -hmm. that everybody knows, that everybody recognizes as a figure, mm -hmm. a nice part of the the history. Mm -hmm. so. That's why. Okay. Uh, very good. It was a very nice experience. I really enjoyed your performances. Next time, mm -hmm. I'm going to put you narrating soccer match. And he comes with the ball. And he goes, ah, that's going to be good. <laughs> oh, no, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to do that one. Don't worry. But that would be a good exercise, actually. I mean, if you are speaking very fast, I mean, that, that would be very good. I mean, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to check the attendance. Um, I'm almost sure that next week we're not going to have classes, but just in, in case, just keep on checking on the chat. So uh, let's see if they announce something there. And okay. uh, in case I don't see you next week, I hope you have a very good vacation. Please, please be careful. Lots of accidents, lots of crazy people on the road and uh, rest a lot. That is very, very important. And eat, eat a lot. Eat a lot. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Enjoy life. We are here today, tomorrow, we don't know. So let's enjoy life, hug and say everybody that you love, that you love them. So let's check here. Ana Claudia González Velasquez. Present teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present, teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert T. Bonilla Canal. <laughs> <laughs> Present teacher. My bad. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Roxana Iveda Sancho de Mejía. Okay. <laughs> William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. That was a, a not good blooper. So see you. See you. <laughs> not this week that is coming, but the next week. Enjoy a lot of your vacations. If you need anything, I mean, if you want to practice or anything like that, uh, you can chat with me as well. I will be there. Okay. So have a good night and rest very well. 
Thank you, teacher. Your vacation is to study you. Bye bye now. Hello, Francisco. Are you still with us? Hello, hello, teacher. Sorry, <clears throat> and uh, I, I uh, don't uh, stay uh, present in the, the class, teacher. <clears throat> I, I am a, a little sick, but uh, I try to study the the the, the class in the in the. YouTube. In the I I tried uh, uh, the next week to stay present. This year. Very good. I hope you feel better and rest a lot so, because that is very important whenever we're sick. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Good Thank night. You, <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night.